I had a great face-to-face uh, -face meeting with Lisa Keeler, who's the director for uh, the Florida Greater Alliance Project Opioid. Uh, we donated six of the uh, opioid emergency kits uh, to her, and she's going to uh, distribute those to some local businesses. She was also talking about getting them into schools, which uh, is an interesting thought. And what she was saying is try to get Narcan in like teenagers' backpacks, um, especially those that are exposed to the pills that are out there. Uh, along with this video, I'm going to post of what some uh, pills look like, oxycodone and the fake ones that are full of fentanyl actually look better than the real ones. Um, they're like cleaner, crisper, um, and also the, the pill-making machines um, that are so uh, cheap to buy, uh, easy to get, um, can be delivered right to your home, no questions asked. So it's really frightening out there, and it's really been weighing on me with um, two uh, teenage grandsons, one's 17 and the other one's 15, uh, that age group um, who are obviously exposed uh, to, at a minimum, marijuana, which that in, in itself is no longer safe. There's no guarantees that the marijuana is not laced with something. So I really hope that we do something, especially along the lines of what Chicago's done with these fentanyl testing strips and see if we can get people to test their drugs in some way um, without them feeling like they're going to be exposed or arrested, what have you. This has got to be about saving lives saving lives. Um, we need to keep the focus and, and the pressure on that. So again, if you're a family member and you've lost a loved one um, and you don't have support, please get in touch with us. We'd really like to speak to you. Um, it's an isolating, lonely feeling when you lose someone close to you and it's something only um, someone who's been through it uh, can really describe and, and explain um, and I would love to talk to any family members that have lost a loved one whether it's a while ago or recently we have to support each other um, we need to stand strong together and somehow um, keep pushing forward. I know my daughter, uh, Christina, has been impacted in a major, major way, losing her twin sister and her mother. Um, uh, losing Stephanie was very, very dramatic, uh, traumatic um, to us both, but um, I feel for her especially. So if you've lost someone, please let us know. We'd love to also post their picture, keep their memory alive. Again, I don't care how long ago it was. Um, please, let's, uh, let's share that loss, that feeling together. All right, be safe out there. Love those kids. Embrace them. Talk to them. Educate them. Don't run away from this. You got to keep those kids safe. All right, God bless.